Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder. Today I want to talk about this plane and I want to explain to you why this is kind of the reason why I didn't do videos in the last couple of days because believe it or not, I had fun. Tons of fun. Lots of fun. I had fun playing solo. I had even more fun playing in a derp squad with lots of people on my Discord. And the A7D Corsair just is one of those planes that... I think I, I kind of fall in love with. So let me just talk you through a little bit in the hangar before we go into some gameplay scenes that show you what this thing can do. And it's glorious. So first of all, I put a talisman on it. I got it for a test drive from Gudgeon. And um, I thought, first of all, you know, this is just, just a hype of things. But I played myself and it's really glorious. I also bought this skin from Marketplace. And uh, let's just have a look where it sits in the tech tree. Yeah, it comes after the FJ4B. And um, I researched the A7D by playing the A7D. I researched also the F84F. And the uh, good progress on the AV8C is also clearly visible. And it, it is just fantastic because, to be honest, I didn't really want to go into playing the F86F34 or the F89D. Um, no, it was just a bit of a refreshing thing. For me, this is kind of the Czech incarnation of the 82 Skyrillers in the old days. But it's so much more up to date. It's so much more uh, fit for the meta. So many advantages. First of all, um, if you like the look of it or not, that is an aesthetic thing. You know, it's it, you can discuss it. However, I like the skin. And um, let's just talk about what this plane gets. It gets flares. It gets a targeting computer. It gets an air star. Uh, it can pull up to 13 Gs. Yes, it's uh, subsonic, but um, this is one of those typical American planes that answers the questions, how many bombs with a clear, sophisticated yes. So, <laughs> it, and a lot of those bomb load options have their purpose and um, on top of this not it's not just bombs you know um, up to 12 1000 pounders or 24 500 pounders or uh, you know for I think tank battles if there is no radar SBA around uh, six 2000 pounders you also can carry two A9J sidewinders air to air missiles that can pull up to 20 G's um, and they will do the job. It's it's just fantastic. Even more options that I cannot even show in, in all their magnificence and glory. Uh, you have 30mm uh, GAL 13A cannons, uh, two gun pods. You can put up two additional 20mm uh, M16 cannons. Pure bomb loader, pure rocket loader, whatever your heart desires. So one video is not enough to cover this. And the weapons, they just work. Lots of ammunition, high rate of fire, good muscle velocity, good damage, uh, fantastic plane. And so I had a lot of fun doing the research, doing, playing it. And so I collected a little bit of gameplay here and there. Um, a little bit of warning, the last battle that I'll show you is an entire battle that I recorded in the replay which uh, takes an abrupt ending that was not my fault and uh, you'll see then what I mean. And that was a battle where I got on ace while I did a bombing run. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, 
kommt eine Mix 17. Es ist jetzt gerade am Starten, während das kreuz über die Hälfte der Karte für die Lichtning. Ich höre eigentlich ein Rohr eines Panzers, aber ich fliege trotzdem durch die Gegend. Ja und? <lacht> ja und, also diese Kommentare. <lacht> Mach Platz! Jawoll! <lacht> so, Jack 38, bis fällig. Du. Die ist jetzt auch fällig. Ah, lass mich die abschießen. Die no. äh. Was? Oh, das war genau zeitgleich. So I just wanna uh, enter here with a little bit of selected clips. This gun run, for example. You know, that was just with a single 20 millimeter on medium tanks. Can you imagine having two additional ones, for example, also in those head-ons? Again, just a single one uh, with the default belt, by the way, uh, or the additional 30 millimeters. I might do an extra video about them if I can collect enough footage. Um, and also, this is what I call a perfect short run. You spawn with the air start, uh, you fly low, and uh, depending on the map, you get those big bomb points, and you can then unload six of the 1,000 pounders and get a huge amount of civil lines and RP, um, despite the nerf, etc. Again, this is with a premium account and a talisman on it, which I think the plane thoroughly deserves. And then the second bombing point is done, give my team a little bit of a points advantage and the first enemies go in, they just don't have the situation awareness and uh, this Yak-38 gets a taste of the bite of the AIM-9J which can pull up to 20 Gs, has a decent range, decent acceleration and in this case, yeah, he burns brightly for that missile so this is what i call a perfect short run you know all the rp and civil lines are generated within seconds now this is a replay that um i mentioned at the start i had to sadly re-record because the original file was a little bit corrupt uh corrupted and uh, we dropped the first bombing point and this is the match with the most kills so please remember this i did not go in here with a pure anti-air loadout. This is a little bit of the mixed loadout, um, the usual that I would take. 12 1,000 pound bombs and also then two air-to-air -air missiles and the default 20 millimeter Gatling with a thousand rounds. So at this moment I pull up really sharply and you can see how this plane loses speed, how this plane still can maneuver, how it's a bit wobbly uh, nonetheless, I couldn't decide which one to go for. And the first head-on is something that I usually don't like to do. 
um, but it was necessary and yeah i got the better of the engagement with the a32 and um, he's on fire the swift also doesn't really take me serious or he's just tunnel visioning one air to air missile into his direction and it hits and that's actually a double kill you know the a32 burned down the g91 also doesn't seem to take me serious he's after this fj4b the missiles on the way i focus on the city and i actually kill the g91 um, so this is obviously a little bit on a down tier, so it's filthy as all hell but uh, not before the g91 could set of fire the fj4b um yeah sometimes i have my fair share of difficulties if somebody is diving down and i try to aim so i try to improve this with a little bit of you can uh, call it test shooting on the bots so that's already three kills and again um i kind of like this uh, new city map for a change um it's just something different you know we didn't have something like this before so i'm okay with a bit more diversity this g91 r3 also doesn't really seem to take me serious he tries to do some evasive actions but he just saw enemy planes in half it's it's glorious i have to try out the two 30 millimeters um actually i tried them but i also have to try out the uh, two additional 20 millimeter gatlings and just go into the head-ons with some stealth belts that would be filthy as all hell so that's four kills in just a couple of uh, seconds or a minute um, after a bombing run so can you imagine the rp and the civil lines for the short amount of time as you can see the replay is also relatively short so there is another g91 and he is going again after one of my teammates and again i'm way too late to save him he just got the better of the um, a for b and there i got my ace just as he pulled up so again um, the warning is here that gachin will definitely increase the repair costs and or the battle rating i think uh, in typical gachin fashion they will do both hence why i'm spamming this plan for a change i had fun it was uncomplicated brain dead straightforward kill stuff and and once in a while why not right and now the cancer is with the american tech tree next patch it will be with the russians or soviets or some other nations that's just how it goes and for once i wanted to have a good time and um, i think i have it now the end of this replay let's talk about this um very often if i raise some concerns or if i mention something that i uh you know don't like some people want to misunderstand this as whining and bitching and complaining and just shut up and have a good time if your good time gets tackled by issues in the game that's killing the fun and i think it should be worth mentioning um, i do a lot of bug reports uh, and you know also provide a lot of suggestions in, in you know behind the scenes but um things like these where you are just flying in a straight line you have good ping um, you have initially no packet loss and then all out of the blue this happens that that that's not me that's that's not me then that's not fun gurchen that's not cool especially when you know i didn't have any sort of battle damage etc and i just had probably the best game uh, kill wise so that was a bit unfortunate anyway i had a lot of fun playing this plane um if you are in reach of it try it out get it before it gets unplayable again according to dirgen's balancing department and uh, let me know what you think about the presentation with a little bit of intro with a little bit of selected scenes uh, with just a little bit of the normal rambling gibberish and uh, trash talk that we have with the discord uh, people oh. and then also a commentary i preferred it to be a normal recording but it just happened to be a replay because the original file as i said was corrupted that's it for me today thanks for watching thanks for listening i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if it did subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other on the waves in the skies and on the battlefields of war thunder